some seconds was just a brief stretch of time of someone's entire lifetime. Well, I'm not mentioning about the book, the Sandman wrote, the soul, over ten million copies globally. The life he spent discovering not just his vocal, but his inner voice. What you said for this is exactly how Stephen Hawking embraced self-expression. One word in one minute. That is how he started speaking. He had his whole machine, but something that not stop him from becoming one of the most common influences in smart times. Could he speak at the end? No. But he reached the pinnacles of life with the big bang and ended up delivering a lecture at MIT. My think it's a little bit of This is what finding your voice is all about for me. An expression of thought. Silent or audible, but makes everyone speechless. Hi, I'm Renri. I'm six. I call. I'm certified in air aerobics and track with CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. I see on technology and conferences. Well, it takes me back to the moment. When I found my voice, and this is exactly how confidently I started my first sentence speech, standing in front of 200 audience, sharing the stage with CEOs, actors, and social entrepreneurs, almost five to six times my age. Find your inner voice, or inner finding what you want to do in life. Can it just be discovered overnight? Especially when you just be mailed at a particular subject, say technology, or can be inspired by someone one day to take it to a level where there's no looking back from there. The Eureka moment? Well, there's no silver bullet to it. We all find it our own pace. But keep looking for it. Don't settle. Today, I'm here to share three stories of my life that really helped me discover my voice, my being, and myself. One, all the worlds are strange. Besides my deep interest in science, technology, and innovation, I've also changed. To be there, talking, sharing, knowledge with friends and people. The stage has always made me feel myself at home. But the audience kept changing, and the audience numbers kept increasing. And that, I believe, made me realize that the skill that can be better in a period of time. I was also lucky that I came across my inspiration. Spur shock. When you are very early in life, he was one of the conditions that made his work extremely fragile, that even a handshake could cause a fracture. But he made, it through. he made his way through. He found his voice, became a Guinness World Record holder, a TEDx speaker, and a rapper, who did suffer from osteogenesis and perfecta, but did not suffer from. He would have gone through the scriptile phobia or the fear of long words, just like me. Combine this with the intrinsic power you feel. You can map your inner and your vocal voice to talk publicly on a subject that you love to share knowledge on. An intersection with your heart and your thoughts, with expressions and voice. That's interesting. Two, let's have a second date. When I was 
see. I was sculpturing known concepts like aerodynamics and theories like the Big Bang. How did they end up narrating the Big Bang thing to an IT professor during my flight from Manhattan to Mumbai? I was fascinated by over sent in NASA's Mars missions. And since my curiosity never ended, I ended up building an aerodynamic prototype of a rocket with a lot of perseverance during my summer break of 2021, which was later published on NASA's website at age 4. My life for coding at age 4 started from scratch. Well, literally. Climbing block by block, I upgraded from block-based coding and went shift and Apple Swift. I started playing on my own playgrounds. And I think I honed my skills well to book an appointment with Apple CEO Tim Cook at age 5 in April 2023. It was a day of lifetime for me when I was invited to a Worldwide Welpers Conference 2023 at Apple Headquarters, California. And yes, now even when AI sits like Alexa Meta can talk about a bit about me, it doesn't just see the smile on my face because I find my binary voice in this world, but also how amazing technology can be. As much as that, I've now developed an ANL powered chatbot of any old using Google Dialogue Flow and embedding print apps like Telegram Next using APIs. So it will be your vocal or your binary voice. Keep interacting and change your energy with the world. Three, playing on the front foot. Do this. Do you think I'm solely technology enthusiast? If you guess wrong, this dark little dull boy would just all work. Like millions of Indians, I also believe you. That's why I absolutely love cricket. I stayed up till 2 a.m. when India won the ICC Men's T20 World Cup last this year and was extremely sad for almost a month when India lost the final of the ICC Men's ODI World Cup last year. From randomly swinging my arm all over the place to then a proper bully technique. To now spend my weekends at a far same sense of excellence. My game has come a long way. I'm a seam bowler. I know how to move the ball in and out. And yes, I thoroughly enjoy playing the scout I on the front foot. So, the message here is that embrace your different voices. And whatever comes your way in life, don't back out, but play on the front foot. Let your back to talk it. Coming to the end of my talk, I would like to say that finding your inner voice is a journey. A journey that is need for each one of us. We find it challenging to voice out, voice in. Listen to your inner voice and discover yourself. Here's my new voice. A new experience of thought for this world. My first book as an author. What's yours? Thank you.